dynamically moving a selected feature. Here I have a feature which is a hole, but I have it placed on a grounded work point. So when I go and open up this hole and I say edit feature, you can see when I place the hole, I placed it on this point and it is a grounded work point and this is the key so it's a grounded work point so you know it's it's pinned down to that work point this features pinned down to that work point well I can dynamically move uh, that feature now if I go up to uh, my extrusion and I say move feature and I get this feature uh, triad here now uh, I'm gonna hit uh, cancel here I'm gonna go to the hole and I'm gonna right click and you can see that I don't have it here and I can go to the work point and I right click but I do get the 3d move and rotate and when I do that it parks itself right on that grounded work point which is the easiest way to, to start right then I don't have to move uh, my triad I have a triad here with color coded uh, arrowheads uh, for each direction the first thing we can do is pick on the arrowhead itself when I pick on the arrowhead that direction uh, is linear and highlights so I could move this two inches in the positive direction now the hole will move over here and I can also pick by the uh, green and I can move it up uh, one inch let's say and I can then hit OK and I've moved my feature that's attached to my grounded work point so uh, the work point I can right click and I can go to 3D move and rotate so I can do the linear I also can grab it onto the shaft and the shaft will rotate my uh, object so I pick on the shaft and I say I want a you know a 45 degree angle and I say okay I spin it around and not all features can be spun around but uh, so I can spin it around likewise uh, when I go to my work point and I right click and I go to 3D rotate I can pick right on this sphere when I pick on the sphere I can freely move it in 3D space so I can place it anywhere I want dynamically and you know you can see that I'm placing it if you look at my X Y and Z it's moving all over the place so I can come and place this I'll place it right up here I'll go bink, and I'm gonna say okay and I dynamically move that over so um, at any time then I can move things about uh, using my uh, dynamic rotation so uh, on here I can right click and I say move feature and now I have to then move this feature but in this case right I'm oop, I'm uh, dynamically moving just the triad and nothing happens what I really want is I want to get a hold of that grounded point. So the key is to have a work point that's a grounded point, and then go to 3D move, and then I can say, oh, I want to dynamically move it, and I can say OK, or I can pin that thing down somewhere, etc., to the exact linear dimensions, or I could rotate the option.